When I was in film school, there was this policy that you could reserve an editing room, but if you were more than half an hour late, you lost your right to use it and someone else could take it. And people would often edit and then their time would be up and the person who'd reserved it didn't show up, so you just stayed there. And sometimes they would show up and sometimes it'd be more than half an hour late. But if they showed up and they had assigned the thing, you would give it to them because, you know, you had to drive there and park and it was a lot of work to get there. And you'd have to be a real asshole to say, oh, sorry, you're more than half an hour late. You can't use the edit room. They just drove across town to be able to edit. And nobody ever gave me a hard time for being late. Except this one time I go to my edit room and I'm like, only like a minute late. And the woman there, her name was Suzanne. She's like, oh, you're a minute late. Cool. I get to keep it. It's all mine. Yay. And she kind of almost did like a jig. And I was just like, what? You're really going to like not let me edit here? And she's like, it's my room. It's my room. I got it. You're late. Yay. And I remember just thinking, I hate you so much. And I will forever hate you. And you are my eternal enemy now. And whenever I would see her in the hallway, I would just like look at her with utter contempt. And she didn't seem to notice or care. But, you know, she was like my least favorite person there. And then after I graduated, there was a big party that one of the students gave at their place in Ojai. He had moved to Ojai. And everybody from film school was invited. And we all spent the night in Ojai. And Suzanne was there. And we started talking. And she wasn't so bad. And we kind of got along a little bit. And the next day, she offered to give me a ride back to L.A. And I was like, I got it. I got it. I'm good. Uh, and she's like, oh, OK. And then I was like, you know, dating, uh, you know, like uh, through the paper. And I went on a date to go see a movie with somebody who I didn't know. I, there were no pictures back then. It was before online dating. And I meet this woman. And I'm just like, as soon as I see her, I was just like, oh, God, how do I get out of this? And she was not only not attractive, she was also tedious and dull and pretentious and maniacal, and I just couldn't stand her. But we, like, eat some food, and then we go to this movie, and I'm just thinking, how do I get away from this woman? And I saw Suzanne at the movie theater, and I was like, Suzanne, it's so great to see you. How's it going? And I, like, hug her, and she's like, what's going on? And I was just so friendly to her because I was trying to get away from this other person. And we watched the movie, and I'm thinking the whole time that as soon as it's over, I'm just going to leap up, say goodbye, and rush over to Suzanne and ask her if she wants to have coffee with me. And this is how I'm going to make an exit from this bad date. So it ends. I say, thank you so much. It was great meeting you. Goodbye. And then I went straight to Suzanne. I was like, hey, you want to have some coffee? It would be great to catch up. And she's like, surprised, but she's like, okay. So we go to have coffee, and then I'm telling her about this thing that happened But I invite her to my place. She comes over and we're talking and I'm thinking, maybe, maybe Suzanne would be a good romantic partner for me. And my first thought is, Kave, you are really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. This is sad. This is sad. But we end up going on a date. And while we're on our date, she says, where'd you grow up? And I say, LA. She says, oh yeah, me too. And she says, where in L.A.? I said, the Valley. She says, oh, yeah, me too. And she says, where in the Valley? I said, Granada Hills. She says, really, me too. And she says, where did you go to elementary school? I said, uh, Van Gogh. She goes, me too. And then she says, who would you have for fourth grade? I said, Mrs. Temple. She said, oh, my God. You're Bobby Zahidi. And I was like, yeah, that was my name. Elementary school, Bobby. She said, I remember you. I remember used to wear this Hawaiian shirt. It was green. I was like, yeah, I did. And I thought, how weird is that? That we went to the same elementary school and we're in the same class. And now we're on a date. And I thought, this can't be a coincidence. I think we're supposed to be together. And I guess I'm supposed to marry her or something. So I did. 